do for my crew. Yes. What do you think? You like it? I like it. This is cool. It's my new persona. <sighs> yeah. Cecil B. Ramsbottom, squadron leader. <sighs> what do you think? I like it. I got the goggles and everything. It's amazing what you can pick up online. <laughs> uh, welcome to Bomber Crew. Um, it's a game by a company called Runner Duck, um, where you are in control of a Lancaster bomber. Um, and the whole point is is to build, build uh, well, basically bomb stuff in the Second World War. Uh, Lancaster bomber was the Second World War bomber that was it's, it's really significant in the RAF uh, history and bomber command and all that kind of stuff from the Second World War. So it's a it's a big thing over in the UK. Um, and my, my my hat is not working properly. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, um, so yeah. Um, the idea is you you have all the, the crew and everything, and you can tell them what to do during the flight. Um, drop bombs, shoot down aces, and all sorts of stuff. Um, I've had a bit of a play with it, and I've got to say, I love it. It can get really frantic really quickly. It can be just something that you just enjoy. Um, you can hit a button that slows down times. It's uh, That's a feature that's been added just recently. Um, and the whole point is that, you know, you build up your plane, you upgrade it, you upgrade your crew's stuff, and eventually you finish the campaign. Um, I haven't finished the campaign yet. But I'm playing this, I'm going to put this online, it's basically for you guys to tell me if you want me to do a playthrough of this. You might not. I think it's the most amazing game in the world ever. But then again, I think that about a lot of games that I feel passionate about, so... I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to... Do a new game, we're going to skip training. I'm going to get my headphones on. Mainly because they help to keep my hat on. Yeah, that's better. I'm looking more the part now. I've got headphones and goggles. Everything cool. Alright. New game, skip training. Uh, yeah, that's the one I'm doing now. I will do a lot of uh, kind of grindy missions in between because uh, there are there is an element of grind to this, but it's not like massively. It's like you do three or four missions uh, to kind of build up some cash so you can do the next upgrade. Um, but that's about it. It's not like you have to do 10, 20 missions just to get one upgrade. They are churned out pretty regularly, I have to say. But anyway. Here we go! Right, recruits. How, do we need new recruits? No, our crew is full. Okay, crew gear. What do we got in the way of crew gear? Here's our crew! Yay! Okay, I'm going to be the pilot. Lawrence Grant. No, no. I am the pilot. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Chris Zone. Confirm. Yeah, look at me and my lovely mustache. That is a total RAF mustache, that is. Very happy about that. Um, light suit? Headgear? We do have these presets. Uh, this number here, one of the blue thing, it, it matches up to it. This is intelligence. The more intelligence you get, the more stuff you unlock. And there are set limits, you know, so it's the same for the plane as well, it's the exact same figure. As you get more intelligence, things will become unlocked, you'll be able to do more stuff. Um, cash, if I have to explain that to you, you're uh, playing the wrong game. Alright, so there's me. Um, if you want... I'm not going to do anything about that. Yeah, okay. Um, if you want um, to have your name on a person, comment section, people, comment section. I was thinking that probably Steel Grade might want to be one of the gunners because I know how he likes shooting stuff with, you know, and being kind of like really evasive and stuff like that. You know, with the whole manticore thing from Battle stuff. Um, but yeah, so just come on in and let me know. Uh, aircraft. Look at her. So pretty. Uh, Jalopy Jockeys. 
We can change the name of the plane if you want to submit a name. I will not do Boaty McBoatface, or Plainy McPlainface, or Kitey McKiteface, or anything like that, Mr. Painter. Just submit whatever ideas you want. Um, they do have some really cool, <laughs> some really cool uh, colours here, like plaid. You know what? Yes, we're doing plaid. Um, there's also these uh, these little. I didn't chew it, did I? Oh, it didn't cost us a penny. Um, I've also got these things. I, I, there is a way to add your custom logo. So if I can get my uh, rival's own logo on there. I will do. I know there's a way to do it. I haven't got to figure it out just yet. So I can feel it. I'm so close. I'm just so close. Um, of course, you can do engine art. So you can do flying tiger. Yeah. A shark. Well, a tiger. Uh, wing art. Pumpkin spice. Because it was Halloween just a, what, a couple of days ago, if not a day ago. Um, so they had this Halloween patch thing. It's really nice. Um, and then you can have text on the side. For example, uh, change delivery text. We're dead. Here you go. <laughs> well, you can change that to anything. Uh, we can have a, a, a plane number. You can have a, a, a name of the plane. Anything you like. We're going to go with We're Dead for now because... Well, I can't think of anything else to put on there. Uh, we are on basic guns. 303, two guns. Mark 1. Uh, we don't get that yet. We might be able to do that, but you have a weight limit. This is the power that your engines can lift, or the weight your engines can lift in flight. That number there. And everything you add to the plane adds to the weight. Pretty straightforward. We don't need the ventral gun right now, which is this one here underneath the plane. We're okay at the moment. Uh, we need about 400 in uh, Intel to upgrade our gun. Radar, fire extinguishers, 215, that's cool. Equipment slot, right. We only have two at the moment. Um, I would like to get another one. How much does that cost? A thousand. Maybe not. Use large. Just standard, can't do anything on that. Survival, homing pigeon. I'd love a homing pigeon, we can't do it. All right, I am gonna put uh, one of these in. And we're going to put it all on um, medkits because we will get hit. But there's all sorts of different things like, you know, uh, the systems, like radar, fire extinguishers. Um, there's also electronics. You can upgrade electronics. Uh, you can upgrade hydraulics, oxygen. So you can fly higher for longer. It's all these kind of things. Um, so, yeah. But that's what we're going with. So let's go for a briefing. I love that color. All right, we have three missions. Motor factory, Zebrugga. Short duration, low risk. We get 1,200 just for doing the mission. Return, we get 800. And we get Intel for completing the mission and returning safely. What about this one? Short duration, low risk. Ooh, enemy damage down for two next two missions. That could be useful if there's something a bit tougher out there. And uh, nothing on that one. I think I'll probably do this one because we get a bonus out of it. But we also have these people. Fight races. These are one-time bonuses as soon as you shoot them down. Which I think are awesome. Um, on my own playthrough, which is on the save menu there, um, I've been... Uh, I think I've got like the first four which really boosts your cash, which allows you to pick up so much more. All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. I've been distracted. We're going after this one so we can get enemy damage down. <clears throat> going back to carrots. Caps. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the Todd battery has been raining down artillery on the English coast. Our current bombs aren't able to penetrate it. But we can starve it of ammunition, destroy the ammo dumps, supplying the guns. What? 
Do you not understand me? Don't, don't tell me here. I'm back. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, so this thing that's behind my head. That, if we hit that, then it slows down time, and that can be really useful later. Um, one thing you find is that it's really annoying. Ooh, you're fast. Birchie, you're fast. Um, your guns never start full. But, in my own playthrough, um, and I have watched some other people play online, there is a pretty cool thing we can do. Get to you to there, grab that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stack ammo. And bring you back there. Right. You grab. Right, now go and get that. Oh no, sorry, go back. Drop that off. Uh you go get that. You go get that. You go there. What we're basically doing is putting boxes of ammunition at these points. Because by doing that, it means we don't have to get our person to walk all the way back. Go to the ammo. Go. You're not going to go to the ammo. Um, you are there. Okay. You are there. And given the fact that the uh, the front gunner doesn't fire as much, we're not going to put as much ammo there. Ooh, no, 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 no. It's alright, picked up the wrong thing there. You go back there. That's it, right. You. Back to your desk. Awesome, you. Go grab that. Got it. I go pick that up and then put it down, and then we've got three bullets of ammo there, two at the front there, and everybody's happy. Oh, yes, they are. It just means that these guys don't need to go hunting for ammo. That's all it is. This guy here, easy, and you just press R for him. It's simple. Um, anyway, we have a job to do. Let's um, go to the pilot, take off, speed up time. Raise gear. Okay, so there's no point in going much higher. But it's only a short journey, so. My one concern is that we're going to get shot a lot. <laughs> and this plane is not heavily armoured whatsoever. Okay, we're in. Already. You. Uh, open doors. Enemy spiders. Where are they spotted? There. Right. You have to mark them, otherwise the thing doesn't find them. Yeah. Boom. Look, we're gonna go and get the uh Yeah, there's an optional recon thing. We're gonna go for that later. I wanna get this done first. You get bonus cash for them basically. More fighters. Um. Ah, more fighters. Oh, we got an engine fire. Uh, close doors. I don't think we have. We lost an engine already. We have. We lost an engine. Oh, getting out of here. We've already lost an engine. 
hang on. Uh, you're out of ammunition. Go get some more ammunition. You, grab another box of ammunition. Cool. Look at that blaze, it's taking all the pieces! Oh. What? Who's firing at me over there? Yeah, you've killed one! And another one! Kill, aim, destroy! You go back. You. Reload. You'll be fine. You'll survive. You're tough. We have lost an engine. That didn't happen in my first playthrough, I swear. Alright, well that's mission over, so... We can speed up. We could have gone back for the picture, but we were already getting kind of pounded. So, don't particularly want to do that. Pilot. Oh, here we go. Coming into land. Don't want to send a security runner there. I'm fine. Don't worry. Yeah, if you take the pilot out of the pilot seat, the plane goes into the ground. You need to have someone in the pilot seat all the time. And something's breaking. Ooh. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ugh. Enemy damage down for two missions. That basically means we don't take as much damage. So we didn't use the slow time thing, so that's cool. And we got the... I mean, this bonus gets bigger. Don't worry. We didn't get the picture. Damn. Damn, damn. This bit's a bit slow. Cool. Uh, emergency dive perform emergency dive to put out engine fires. Oh, nice. Or reach lower altitude quickly. And the green of the grass is causing my face to go weird. Uh, get a boost of speed by using richer fuel tank. Oh, fuel mix, sorry. Okay. <gasps> Armored fuse large. Yay! Uh, extinguishers, olive drab livery. Boots, woolen gloves, leather boots, flight suit, basic black. Cool. I don't think there's anything else in there. I think it's just those two. Gloves! We have gloves. Gloves. Everybody loves some gloves. Um, they're not going to help. Our armor. That's a bit. What about leather boots? I don't know the boots do, but it slows them down. Only by 5%, though. 350 for everybody? Mm. Yeah, go on then. that. Um, we'll ignore the gloves for now. Flight suit, basic black, not paying 70 for everybody. Okay, cool. Although it does look awesome. Aircraft! Systems, fire extinguishers. A thousand to install that. I'm a fuse lodge. 500. Okay, well, tail definitely, because that's where the tail gunner is. Um, that's mid. That's the gunner's perch as well. Nose. Front. You know, protect the old pilot. Means we're not gonna have the wings done. I can live with that. I can live with that. For now. Uh, we'll stay with Plaid until someone tells me a different thing. All right, we're gonna get one more mission in. Just one. And have a nondescript drink. Uh, let's have a look here. Sub hunt. Just in case YouTube decides, no, you're doing advertising. Uh, so we've got sub hunt. You 
Still have that one. Could do that. Oh, we got a search and rescue. I think we're going to do a search and rescue. I'm going in. One of our brave Spitfire pilots has run in over the channel and had to ditch in the drink. Locate the poor fellow and drop survival gear to keep him safe until he's picked up. I don't have to do that every single time if you don't want me to. If you don't mind hearing the stupid voice, then fine, I'll keep doing it. Okay, there you go. So this is one of those missions that's not kind of like just go out and bomb stuff. We're actually dropping... We have to bomb to a point. You're dropping survival gear to a, a downed pilot. And then you have to protect him because they sent bombers to protect people from fighters every time. I'm being sarcastic about that. Uh, so we're definitely going to need some, some firepower for this. Uh, yeah, this is actually working. This is cool. Uh, what are you? You are a mechanic, so you can go back there. You can go back to your seat. Do 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 do. Go back and get that because I put it in the wrong place. Yeah, I did. There you go. Awesome! Okay, um, that's all good. We're not looking too bad here. Where are we going? Give me a location, please. I'm looking for somewhere to go to. That way! Awesome. Pilot. Go! Raise gear. Okay, cool. We're approaching London. Pretty sure the pilot didn't crash land in London, but, you know. It's entirely possible they did. That way. Hey. As soon as these speed buttons disappear at the top here, we're in enemy territory. You can only fast travel, like, speed of time if you're over Blighty. Which, if you didn't know, is what Britain was called back in the Second World War. Blighty. Keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I know I have to drop him low altitude. I want to find him first. There! We found him! You. Down. Uh, open doors. Supplies. Great. Enemy fighters spotted on radar. Uh, we're going to release these first. I'll do the rest later. Go! Where are you? There you are. There was someone else. There was someone else. I saw them. Uh, closed doors. There. Whoa, one down. You. Into there. Right, we've got to stay above him until we've cleared the air area of enemy stuff. Just wondering if there's a heat on thing. We could use the cache and the intel. That's the only thing there is. Already fighters spotted on radar? Where? 
Tell me. Wait, 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 wait. There. a recon thing. So we're just going home. We're going home. Uh, half off your remaining. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah. Um, you got a couple of things that you can do while, you know, um, well, we've got this boost thing which increases our speed, which is good at certain points, but you have only a certain amount of fuel. But the argument saying if, let's say, one of our tanks, the left tank was Punctured. We were losing fuel out of it. We could transfer the fuel across to the right tank. So you don't lose the fuel. You can keep flying for longer, which is awesome. Um, you also got your little map here that tells you where you're going and everything. You get abilities later that are just awesome. And you can train people on a second skill. So. Losing, say, your navigator early on is kind of a really big thing because uh, you can come with so many good skills like doing custom waypoints so you can dodge flak and things like that. Um, so you can train people on other things and they'll gain experience as normal. Um, so uh, you can lose your navigator in the middle of a, a bombing raid or something like that and as long as the, the person who's got the secondary skill of navigator has the ability to um, do custom waypoints, then you can still do them. It's just you really don't want to lose people because you really don't have enough to do all the jobs you need. And there's certain people that can't leave their chairs, like the pilot. Although everyone can actually fly the plane. It's the special skills that really are. This thing needs a bit of work. Okay, mission result. Another 1200. That's where the grind comes in. You really do need to get these uh, these intelligence pictures. Which is exactly the same as a bombing mission. It's just on the left hand side. There's a button that says take picture. You get the aim target over. And apparently there's a bonus if you take the picture and then blow it up. I've never actually been able to test. So we'll be testing that. But anyway. Um, come on. Yep. We know. They all return. New skills! Radio for recon and focus. <gasps> focus! Focus is so cool. Radio for recon. Radio for the location of upcoming hazards will be revealed on the navigator's map. Um, basically like flak, radar, all that kind of stuff. You can then hopefully navigate around them, but until you get uh, custom waypoints, you can't. Uh, increased focus when aiming, resulting in higher accuracy for a duration. Yeah, basically it's just uh, like focusing on a target. Simple. But it does work. It's really powerful. Especially if you can get them from a long range and they can zero in straight away. You can take out three targets like quick succession. It's so cool. <gasps> Mark two guns. Yay. Oh, the survival homing pigeon Mark one. The Mark two is so cute. I know it's a pigeon, but it is so cute. Uh, systems radar Mark two. That's cool. These oxygen bottles are only really useful when you go to high altitude and then you're moving people around because they have oxygen at their stations. Um, it are also useful if your um, your oxygen supply breaks down means you guys don't well suffocate um, and then you've got these survival things you can get shot down and get your crew back if they 
it's like an RGN um, RNG sorry RNG um, as to whether or not they survive in the high your survival rating and either land or sea will determine whether or not they survived so you kind of need these things but at the same time you're not sure if you do and it's complicated so when we have more money and we start buying crew stuff we'll be doing a lot of that we do have crew gear so we'll have a quick look at this a quick look at the plane they stole my flight helmet no, mine's much cooler so much cooler. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Uh, new flight suits, oxygen bottles, uh, survival vest. Yeah, that's all that does. It adds eight to uh, land. That's boat, that's water, that's land. But it loses his ten defense. Um, the way we're going right now, we kind of need it. Um, actually, let's see. Basic flight set. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Just basic flight set for everybody. Let's go across the pilot. Basic flight. He's at 16 already. Uh, Anderson? I don't think anyone's getting a boost or anything. It's just giving them gloves and it kind of slows them down a little bit. <laughs> But it's not bad. Can't do the gunner set yet. Alright. Um, Alright, we'll give that to the pilot. Um, Merit. You're at 85 movement speed. Kind of need you to be a lot faster. doesn't affect your movement speed, so you can have gloves. I'm giving you gloves. There you go. There are certain things that boost speed. Um, you... Well, you're not going to move around a lot, so we'll give you that. We're giving him the auction ball for now, but that's alright. I think that's about it for now. Yeah, aircraft. Uh... Fuselage. We can do the wings if we want to. They've not really been attacking the engines that much. Radar Mark 1. 1600, but it uh, speeds up the sweep time. How quickly it goes round. But we really want these. Mark 2s. Uh, I don't know. I might need to put some more time in first. Build some cash up. But anyway, um, that is Bomber Crew. Um, let me know what you think. I've gone green. We're not going to stay there. <laughs> we'll go back to the plane. No, we'll go back to the plane. There you go. We're going to the plane. Uh, that is Bomber Crew. Uh, so let me let me know what... Where do you want me to keep going with this? Do you want me to keep playing this game? Do you want me to do a playthrough for you? Um, the missions do get a lot more fast. Look, I'm a lot more frantic. It's going to be me kind of going, ah! which I know you guys love. Um, so, yeah, do you want me to keep playing? Um, what do you think? Or do you want me to go looking for something else? I'm quite happy to look for something else if you want to. I will play this anyway. In my own time. I love it. It's so much fun. Or do you just want me to stop doing the voice? I can quite happily stop doing the voice. It's very hard on my vocal cords. <laughs> but, yeah. That's the question for this video. Do you want me to do a playthrough? Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like the video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. Um, if you're new to the channel, there'll be a logo appearing in the middle of the screen. Just click on that. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's just quite happily. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, take care of yourselves. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong service. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.